act. Is that so inevitable that you're saying, yeah, any place we find life, is, it would have been through this. It would have arrived at the same solution. It would have found the same solution. Are you, are you prepared to say that? In other words, even like if we replay the t if we re replay history on this planet, right, would we end up with essentially the same thing? Or could we end up with something quite different? I said the evolutionary landscape is vast, right? We're just with life as we know it, exploring a tiny, 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 tiny bit of that. And I believe that the idea of creating um, very minimal living systems from scratch will ultimately be able to help us to, to address these kind of kinds of questions, right? So you could, for instance, introduce metabolic pathways that are completely different from the ones that we know from life as we know it into such, such artificial systems and study them. So at the moment, we don't have evidence for silicon-based life, right? But um, I think there's, personally, I think there's also reasons for that, right? Like, both of them can do, uh, can, uh, can make four bonds, right? But, but, uh, uh, but it seems that carbon is just much more versatile.